In the previous two videos we saw how to create a base map and an atlas map. This time we're going to look at the next option on the list. If we go to the file menu, new map, and go down to the special map wizard. Just as before, this opens up a new window with various choices that you have to make to create your map. However, the special map is different to the Atlas map. In the Atlas map, you end up with a page showing a map for each of the species that you've recorded. What the special map can do is to summarize your data so it brings all your species records across the whole range onto a single map. And there's a whole lot of different options that you can choose to have a go at mapping on here. The one we'll try in this demonstration is to look at our recorded two kilometer squares. In other words, this will produce a map showing every tetrad in your county for which you have at least one record. So, going back to the top of this window, the first thing is to choose the species group you're looking at and the county you wish to look at. And you then need to find the base map to go with your county. And tick off the box that says recorded 2km squares. As usual, MapMate's created a rather long name based on all those choices, so we will slim that down a little bit and OK it. And MapMate has now created this map showing all the recorded 2km squares. And if we click on the drop down list, you'll see that there are no species to choose from this time, it's showing all the species on a single map. You can, however, still do the trace function by clicking and dragging and choosing trace from the menu, and you can still see all the records that underlie the dots, even though they consist of lots of different species. What this map does, of course, is to give you an overview of all the recording that's taken place in your county, showing you all the tetrads for which you have at least one record. Another job that it can be quite helpful for is checking that the dots are actually appearing in the right place, in other words, that the grid references have been assigned correctly. And at first glance on this particular example, it looks as if all our dots are in the right place, they all fall within the county boundary. However, it's always worth zooming out a bit to double check, and if you left click, zoom out, do that two or three times, you may find that you've got dots appearing well outside the county boundary, which suggests that the grid references are not where they should be. Having found those dots, it's quite easy to correct them. You can click and drag and trace to take you back to the record underneath the dot, and then just click on the record, go to view the record, and what we actually want to see are the full details of the site. So click again on the site label, and do view this entry, and we're now looking at the details for that particular site. Now in this case I happen to know that the problem is the grid reference shouldn't be SP, it should be SU, but I can't change it straight away. What I have to do is click on records and go to edit record, and it will then let me change that grid reference. Save, OK, and go back to the map, and we'll just do that with the other one as well trace, find the record, view the record, click on the site label, view this entry, go to records, edit record, and in this case it's the numbers that are back to front. Instead of being 9928, it should be 2899. And we can save that one. And again, OK, close, close. We're now back to our map and the dots are still in the wrong place. They have been corrected, but they won't be corrected on the map until you reload the map. So if you go to the File menu, Reload, it redraws the map, and we can go through that process again of left-clicking, zoom out two or three times, and now those dots have been reassigned to the locations that they should be actually within the county. Left click once more and restore, and we come back to the proper view of the map. So that's just one of the special maps that MapMate allows you to create. This is a particularly useful one, as I say, just for checking on the overall recording effort and the grid references. If we go back into the menu, File, New Map, Special Map Wizard, as I said earlier, there are quite a lot of different options here. You can do some species density mapping to show which are the most recorded parts of your county. 
it's also possible to add several of these bands so that you can show which squares have different numbers of species in them. So lots of things you can try out there. It's perfectly safe to have a go at creating any of these maps to see what they do. If they don't do something that's useful to you, you can just delete the map once you've created it. To do that, it's just a matter of going to the file menu and delete and a message will come up asking if you really do want to delete the map that you're looking at. If you do, just click OK and it's gone.